everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn. So today I'm participating in the 15 fall questions tag. Uh, I was tagged by Stacy from Stacy Stash. But before I get into that, I want to share a little pea fowl update. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I was given a peacock egg in the summer and to see if it would hatch and it did. I will link that video down below if any of you haven't seen it would like to see it. We were actually able to catch it live. Got a big curl sticking up here. <laughs> catch a live hatch. So I just want to show you it. I thought today would be a perfect fall day to record outside. Then I don't have to bring it in the house because birds are not potty trained. Yeah, so this is my little baby, you guys. It is a white one. So at this age, they're called pea chicks. So this is a pea chick. Uh, we don't know if it's well, we don't know if it's male or female, uh, and we won't know for quite some time. Five six months they say for the colored ones, but uh, this one's white, and they say it can be up to a year before you can sex them without a blood test. So uh, yeah, so we're just waiting. Uh, it's starting to grow its little uh, plume here. Peacocks have a plume, male and female. It was a bit higher, but I have a feeling the chicken it lives with, they uh, pecked it off or something. They get bored in their cage. Uh, but yeah, it has to live with something. Um, I will get it a mate once I figure out the sex of it. I'll get it its own mate. But right now it lives with a chicken because these guys, uh, well any bird, uh, they're social animals so they will, they would get lonely and wouldn't make it if they don't have. So I uh, had a little, whoop, I had a little chick. Ah, I had a little chick that uh, I uh, had. So yeah. It, uh, it's, they both have identity crisis. This one probably thinks it's a chicken and the chicken probably thinks it's a pea, pea, hen or pea cock. So anyway, there you go. She's going to, or he's going to stay with me for this video while I get these questions answered. So favorite Halloween movie? Well, now that I'm older, I don't do this scary. Uh, something changed as I grew and had kids and everything. So childhood favorite movie and now favorite movie would definitely be The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, or however you say that. Love that. We still watch it every year. It's kind of a tradition, so that one. And scary favorite movies back in the day would have been any of the Nightmare on Elm Street series and Army of Darkness. <laughs> but I don't do those anymore. Uh, apple or pumpkin pie? Uh, pumpkin pie. Love pumpkin pie this time of year. I love apple, but pumpkin's my favorite. Uh, with whipped cream and ice cream. Um, Halloween party or exploring haunted houses? Definitely a uh, Halloween party. Uh, if you're talking about haunted houses that people have made up, uh, I was at Niagara Falls once in my early 20s with some friends and guys, I was so spooked. I actually froze in there, wouldn't move and even the people that are, you know, doing the whole scaring you even or like they were like it's okay we won't grab you anymore uh and i was like like no like no anyway i had to get escorted out they had to turn the lights on and like freeze the whole um other people coming in had to stop them so i could get out because i was so freaked out and then i waited for my friends yeah so definitely halloween party a store bought or pumpkin patch pumpkin kind of neither we used to take our kids to a pumpkin patch there's not really any around here anymore but we go to a pumpkin stand. It's still out in the country and this lady, uh, she has a little uh, stand and she has all kinds of pumpkins and she makes it fun for the kids. She has all kinds of things for them to do, like a mini corn maze. It's not scary, it's like the size of a garden, but it's, it's geared for little kids. Uh, like place where you can get a photo shoot done and she's got costumes you can put on, little face masks. So it's just great. We, we go there every year since the kids have been like little, little. Um, favorite fall scent, it's two, uh, stew, my mom, oh, nothing beats the smell of coming home on a cool fall day to my mom making a stew. And then my other one, I guess would be cinnamon, anything cooking with cinnamon in it. I just love the smell of cinnamon and I'm not talking cinnamon heart cinnamon. I'm talking like cinnamon from a baked apple pie or cinnamon you put on your oatmeal, that kind of cinnamon smell. Um, favorite fall drink <laughs> so I'm not one who likes hot drinks when I'm cold I'm weird 
Uh, I like my teas in the fall just because I love tea and in the summer it's too hot. I drink iced tea in the summer and the fall I can start getting into the warmer teas. But you know when you're like really cold and you're out and you're damp, I drink ice water when I come in. I, I've never, oh I can't stand like a hot chocolate or, no I can't do it. So I'm going to say red wine. Red wine, I drink white wines in the summer and uh, clear type drinks. In the fall I love a nice glass of red wine with my supper on a Saturday or a Sunday night or, you know, Friday night. Yeah, red wine. Um, Halloween or Thanksgiving? Definitely Thanksgiving. I am such a family person. My family and my friends mean the world to me. I would do anything for them. Uh, I love seeing them. So definitely, definitely um, Thanksgiving. Most love pumpkin-based food? Probably... Favorite, favorite would be pumpkin bread. I love pumpkin bread with uh, pecans in it. Close second, uh, well, pumpkin pie, of course, but uh, my friend also makes, oh, it's so good, you guys. It's hard to explain, but it's a pumpkin pasta. Love that, love it. Favorite candy on Halloween? Okay, so my husband's cousins, who are similar in age, all make fun of me at every holiday because they say I have tastes from previous generations that I should have been born in the 20s to 40s <laughs> because I love that oh I love old, like older taste like generations food <laughs> my favorite Halloween candy guys is candy kisses which are those molasses candies I absolutely love them the kids barely get them anymore so I go buy them when they're on sale because that's they're always left at the grocery store when you go for the cheap grocery or the discounted Halloween candy later in the week they're always there so I get them I can still get them but the kids barely get them anymore and they hate them so they run over and give them to me and oh they're so good um favorite fall childhood memory would be making apple cider so we used to go around and uh, collect apples from all our you know our neighbors trees my parents trees I grew up in a, everyone had apple trees growing up my grandparents trees Orchards that uh, didn't want uh, like ground apples and uh, that weren't being sold nowadays that all, all that stuff gets sold But net, back then it was like come and get it and we would make with a bunch of families We would make we would rent a huge cider press and we'd make apple cider in our driveway and yeah That would be my favorite fall or uh, Childhood memory it's making the cider with uh, my parents and our all of our friends um, favorite Thanksgiving food, hands down, stuffing. And I'm not talking stovetop, store-bought, that you put the water over, stuffing. No, I'm talking my grandpa's stuffing, my mom's stuffing, and my mother-in-law's stuffing. Well, I make it now too, it's all the same. Uh, it's the one with the, uh, with sage, thyme, butter, onions. Oh, so yummy, salt, pepper, and cooked in the, uh, in the turkey. That's my favorite Thanksgiving food, hands down. Sweater or scarf, neither. Um, I am an extremely hot person, so you'll occasionally see me in a sweater. I don't own a lot of them, though, because I can't go to public places uh, where there's a lot of people with a sweater. Uh, I have to go outside. It's way too hot. So if I wear any sweater, it's cardigan-like, but I don't even think I own any right now. I don't know. I don't think so. Scarves, uh, I don't like scarves either. It's the heat around my neck. I have them. They all, if I wear them to dress up, they're often off very quickly at a function though. Uh, wool socks or slippers, uh, both, because I wear Birkenstocks year round as my slippers. I used to wear moccasins, but uh, since we've moved to this house, we have all hardwood floors and uh, I don't know, my feet just can't take um, flat anymore. So. I wear my Birkenstock so stocks year round, so when it's really cold, I wear wool socks with them. So, yes. Um, what is your favorite fall tradition? Um, probably going for walks. So, uh, the town I grew up in was Elmer, Ontario. And just outside, there's a big forest. Uh, it's called Springwater Conservation Area. We used to always go there. And always, we'd go there with schools. Ah! It wants to go. I'm sorry, little baby. We're almost done. It, um, yeah, we would go there for, yeah, uh, walks, the running in the leaves, taking our dogs, 
yeah, just walking there, that, oh, I want to go back there now, and there's a woods just right over there, but, yeah, it's, uh, that's just something about there. It's going for fall walks at spring water, so, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed my 15 fall questions tag. Um, I would like to tag Jessica G for this. Most of you guys who are subs uh, new subs or any of my older subscribers uh, have already been tagged, I've noticed. So I'm going to tag you, Jessica G. I thought you might have fun with this one. And uh, if, you, if anyone else wants to be tagged, feel free. Feel free. I've invited you to uh, play along and uh, I will, uh, actually, you know who else I'm going to add? Sandy. I'm going to add Sandy the Thrifty Grandma. I'm going to add her. I will link her channel down below because it's the Thrifty G slash Ma. Uh, I'm going to tag you in this one too, Sandy. I don't know if you've been tagged, uh, but if you haven't, I'd love for you to play along too. So I'm going to tag you, Jessica, and you, Sandy. And I can't wait to see your guys' answers. Any of the rest of you who want to play along, I'll link the questions down below. And I will also link these wonderful ladies uh, down below as well. Go check them out. All right, guys. My little baby and I wish you all a beautiful fall day. And we will talk soon. Take care, guys. Bye.